What's going on, guys? Um, welcome. Welcome to the Everyday Show. Uh, I'm Jacob. Uh, this is the first episode, episode one of the Everyday Show. Uh, this is this is new thing, new podcast, want to get it up, up and running. Um, you know, just uh, because I thought... You know, there aren't enough podcasts in the world, and, and what I think the world really wants to see is a little bit more, um, and I think that they want to see me, so here I am, doing it, I'm here, we're trying it out, episode one, baby, episode one, thanks for watching, if you are watching, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, it's, you know, it's this is all new. This is all new for me, so uh, I'm not used to just talking to eh, no one, eh, no one. Um. So yeah, I'm Jacob. In case you you wanted to know, uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, just a just a regular guy. This is the Everyday Show Pod. It's a it's a normal show just uh, with a normal guy talking about wait for it normal shit um i'm in raleigh raleigh north carolina shout out 919 represent um yeah i this is believe it or not this is not my full time job I do have a full-time job. I work for uh, a clinical research company here in the area. So um, don't get me fired if if anyone's watching this um, that I work with. Um, but uh, yeah, so you know, we're, we're just gonna like, I don't know, man, just, just talk about whatever, just talk about... Uh, the stuff that I'm doing, the stuff that that I think about, and and I just want to share with you guys, you know. And and if you like it, then then great, watch it. If uh, if you don't, I guess you can you can watch something else. <laughs> um, you know, I I'm gonna try try and talk about some random stuff, just anything. Um, you know, I'm a funny guy. People say, people always say, they say, hey, Jake. Hey, Jake. Um, you're funny, man. So, <clears throat> um, that's what that's what we're going to do. We're going to be funny. <laughs> I'll insert a laugh track on this saying, watch my ass. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're going to stay away from, from the, you know, the, uh, the politics and the, and the, and the, that stuff, you know, I don't want to, there's enough of that going on. We, we see, see that every day. So this is just going to be normal stuff. Just, um, not really much of anything, just kind of talking. Uh, I don't really know where it's going to go. I think we'll, we'll kind of just, um, we'll figure it out together along the way. So hope you guys hang with me and, and, uh, hopefully it'll get better. Hopefully it'll get better. But, um, yeah, man, I, fuck, I don't really know. I don't know where to start. I just, uh, I just got out of the shower. It's, uh, 5 17 p.m. I just took a shower because that is the life of a rock star, baby. Uh, and um, coincidentally enough, it is also the life of a clinical research employee. <laughs> yeah. So I take showers at, at 5 17. What's up? PM. Boy, not AM. This is that pandemic lifestyle. I'm wearing sweatpants all day. I haven't put on 
jeans for work or khakis for work in a year. A year, man. So, and I don't I don't plan on starting. They'll send us back to work. Fuck it, I'm taking a I'm making a stand. I worked for the last year productively. Wearing sweatpants. I'm I'm wearing sweatpants to work. It's wear your sweatpants to work day every day. Yes, sir. You said it. I did. I'm I'm taking a stand. The buck stops here. <laughs> so yeah, I just got out of the shower. Uh smelling smelling good. Like I should. Around the neighborhood. Um, so I went to go, I went to go, uh, take a shower and I, I pulled the, the shower curtain back because you close the shower curtain when you're not using the shower because we're adults. If you don't, if you leave the shower curtain open and you're over 14, if you leave the shower curtain open when you're not taking a shower because you're scared of monsters or something close the shower curtain close the shower curtain excuse me pardon me that's embarrassing I got too many friends uh, so I pulled the shower curtain back and <laughs> I got scared I got scared. I so I got scared there was something in my shower, dude. It was I I go and I'm you know this thing with the shower curtain peel back like a psychopath. And I reach in to turn the water on. And I I literally jumped. I literally jumped it was my washcloth had fallen off the, <laughs> off the uh the shower wall. I got it hanging up on a little command strip, like, or not a command strip. It's uh, just a little hook, little suction cup hook. And that suction cup, um, every once in a while, is hella disrespectful. It stops sucking. Hey, I didn't tell you to stop sucking. But, um, <clears throat> and so then it stops sucking and it falls. And, and then every time, every time it does, it happens like every couple of weeks. And, uh, and every time fucking, it scares the shit out of me, uh, like literal, like my heart, like it leapt out of my chest. Um, and I was like this, <sighs> yeah. And I use a washcloth because I'm an adult. We don't use loofahs here. Um, we use washcloths and we certainly don't use hands. Who's using a hand? You're. If you just you put soap on your hands and like rub your body, you're not you're not clean, dude. I don't buy it. You got to exfoliate, brother or sister. <clears throat> I get scared uh by stuff every, all the time. All the time I uh I actually have uh, I'm really scared of uh, of like of bugs, and um, I'll catch stuff out of the corner of my eye in my room. In my own room, no bugs in this room. Never ever bugs in this room. Um, never had. I've lived here for two years. Lived here in this apartment for two years. Never seen a bug of any kind. And uh, and I see stuff in my in the, out the corner of my eye. It scares the shit. I'm like, what the, you know. But uh yeah, so I'm scared of bugs. And uh I'm a grown grown adult. I'm an adult male that's scared of bugs. Yeah, but I, I probably get startled about stuff every every day. I don't know, man. Uh I don't I don't really know how to bridge gaps here. I'm just gonna start talking about stuff as I think about stuff. And uh, you know what I'm thinking about now? I'm thinking about 
um, how I went to, I went to the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Sick, bro. Um, a couple weeks ago with some friends and, uh, this guy came in and he, I, I watched him, he ordered a beer and then he ordered a cup of whiskey. Not not a shot, not a glass. It this wasn't this wasn't like a this wasn't like like two, some two finger three finger deal, man. This was you know like a full face, full face links, full face links of whiskey in a cup, and uh, and he got it. He sat down. He was by himself. And I watched that man drink that whiskey. He drank that full cup of whiskey in in two minutes tops. He looked he looked like a like a like a like a five year old at a on a pool day, like on a hot summer's day, you know, just and maybe maybe he um, you know just been running around, just uh, chasing after the rings in the pool for too long, and uh, the, you know lifeguard uh shoots the whistle got to get out for 30 minutes he comes over he's <sighs> like he just like total mouth breathing he's just like he's two hand in this thing like you can hear it <clears throat> it's phallic in nature <laughs> and then he just runs away he's like look away i'm gonna run <clears throat> That's how that guy drank that. That's how that guy drank that um, that whiskey cup, and it was car. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. And then he drank it, drank his beer in as many minutes, and uh, left the bar. And I watched him get on his bike, his sickle, his bicycle, and ride away. <laughs> Um, it, it, so I hope that guy made it home safe thinking about it thinking about it now um, but uh, yeah I don't know I I don't drink like that I don't I can't I can't do I can't do the liquor drinks I can't do it um if anything, if I feel that burn deep, like if I feel it going down, can't do it. I can drink, I can drink some beer. I can drink a couple of craft beers, you know, but I tell you what, the next day I, I can drink three craft beers. Yeah, bro. Sick. And the next day, I'm like burping and shit the whole day. I'm like, I don't know. The, they taste so good going down. And then they just do not sit well. Sit well. Mm -mm. They, they f me up, man. Uh, yeah. So I don't, I don't really, it's crazy. It's crazy I how I just don't have the I don't have the the desire to do it and I and that guy to come in by himself to come in by himself and just do a whole cup of whiskey man that guy is a champion he's a hero for Christ's sake and he got on his bicycle <laughs> um Yeah, so I yeah, I go out. I go out. What's up? I party. I don't party. I'm Rob. I'm Rod and I like to party. No, I'm Rod and I like to party. Thought thought Dave's a party guy. If you haven't seen the the classic uh Andy Sandberg um hot rod from 2008 I think you should definitely check it out it's, 
It's hot off the press. Uh, it's so stupid. It's so stupid, but it's it's hilarious. Um, yeah, let's see. We're um, I went to, I went I I did snowboarding for the first time. I did snowboarding for the first time, and it was not for me. Let me tell you. Let me be clear. I um, I went with my buddies. We all went. Neither none of us had ever boarded any snow. Uh, what my one buddy had skied once, once, once. Um. But none of us had ever snowboarded, and we said, you know what, we want to do it, so we're going to do it. And so we uh, we said, we're going to do it in March when there's no snow, but they're still making fake snow, so we're going to do it. And uh, that's exactly what it was. It was um, absolutely uh, fake snow. It was it was uh, rocks, and um, and then they just us uh, did a did a line. They did a line of. Uh, just a line of coke, just up the up the mountain, uh, underneath the ski lift, rocks. You fall, you die. Um, and and let me say, I knew so. <laughs> they don't. They also. They didn't give. They don't give you any. They don't give you any warning or like any uh, training or anything like that. They that we went up there. There's no signage. You park, they have a parking lot sign. You park and you just walk. And you walk up to what you think is the place. And, uh, and you only think that because there's people there. And, uh, and then you see, you come across a, a ticket booth situation. Jesus Christ. Uh, you come across a, a ticket booth situation. Fuck this mic. Like uh, Conor McGregor. Fuck this mic. That was the worst Irish accent. <laughs> Fuck the mic. I don't know what this accent is. It's, it changes mid-sentence. Yeah, you... You come to me with the problem. You come to me with the problem. I come to me with the problem. I solve the problem. Now I just sound like a grumpy old man. This isn't even an accent. This is just a grumpy old... It's just a voice. <laughs> Um, so good, good at impressions. Um, but, uh, you just walk up on the, on the, on the ticket booth and they, they expect you to have your itinerary number because of the ticket that you've purchased online. Hey, bro, we're on a mountain. I got the one X. I got one X service, none bars. And they're like, you don't get an itinerary number. You can't, you can't get your ticket. So I literally had to let people go in front of me because I got one X, dude. I got unlimited data. One X. Newest phone out of all of my friends. One X, none bars. No LTE here because why? We're on a mountain. Mountain. We're on the mountain tops. You can yodel off of here. Yodel. <clears throat> Voice crack. Um so you, so I finally get it up and, um, and I, and I get the ticket and then they were just, they handed me the ticket and then that was going to be it. Uh, they, okay, you go ski, uh, or snowboard. And, uh, and I, and I said, Hey, I don't own a snowboard. I know you got you guys got rentals. Where do we go? So it was it was a whole process, and it, 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 it 
imagine whatever you're picturing in your head about the whole atmosphere of the place, the people there and everything, it's spot on. That's exactly what it was like. There was a specific type of person that was there. Um, and, and so we go in, we walk into the locker room that smelled like this straight wet dog's ass is what it smelled like. Because they just had the boots that you rent, and it's just wet shoelace boots, and it's just, it's a, it was a locker room that also had been sprayed by a skunk's ass. So, uh, it smelled so bad, and uh, we had to check in like five times. So you check in, you get the ticket, and then you walk down to to go get your rentals, and they say. Uh, did you guys check in? And they, we say, yeah. And they said, all right, we'll just check in right here on the, on the computer. And then we check in on the computer and then we got to go and walk over to the guy. And he's like, do you guys check in? And we said, yeah. He said, all right, what's your name? And then he asked us again, like what our height and weight is, which is, uh, so relevant, you know? I, uh, I felt shamed, but, um, anyway, get our, finally get, um, get all of our gear and everything. And I knew that it was going to be an issue for the day. Um, when, uh, we couldn't figure out how to, how to lock the boots in. And so we get outside on the rocks, by the way. And, and I stopped the fellas. I said, hey, fellas, let's stop. And they said, okay. And uh, I said, we got to figure this out. Or, you know, this is like we got to. And they said, okay, you're right. And so I, we literally had to stop. And I had to like figure out how to do these boots, how to get our feet locked in. And, uh, and I was like, okay, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. And... Uh, all right, let's go hop on the, on the fake snow. And also no signage out there. No, hey, these are bunny slopes. These are, you know, black diamonds. These are like, I don't, there's no in between. It's just anarchy. You just see the lines of Coke and then there's just people skiing and snowboarding around. And then there's ski lifts and there's lines for ski lifts. And you just got to hop in one and hope it takes you somewhere. Hope hope that on the other end is is the top of the mountain that you can ski down and you don't accidentally get on the ski lift that takes you to uh, Las Vegas. And so we walk. We don't want to be a nuisance. So we walk across the, the first line of coke. And um, then we're, we're standing in the ski lift line that we assume is going to take us to the uh, smallest slope. And um, we got to put our, we got to put our ski, our our snowboards on right there. And what you do is you put one foot in. uh, Let me teach you guys. Okay. Uh, You put one foot in and you shake it all about. And then you leave the other foot out of the snowboard. So you got one locked in your snowboard and you got this one is free to do whatever, whatever it so pleases. And, uh, and then you, I, you're supposed to like, just like carry, but this board, it's not, it's not short. I mean, it's probably your height and it's heavier than you think it is. And the boots are heavy. The boots are so heavy. And also you can't do, if this is your foot right here, see this, you can't do this with your foot. It, your foot's here, and this is how you walk. This is how you walk. You know what I'm saying? Like you just like if this is the ground, you walk like this. That's how you do. You don't you don't do this. You don't you know you don't gallop in there. Uh, but uh, I knew it was going to be an issue when I got that first boot in on the on the on the fake snow, and. I almost pulled my groin, like legit, just like did a, did the splits right there. Um, and I looked at my buddies, I said, uh, I said, I feel really unathletic right now. (laughs) Um, you know, I, I, 
I knew that it was going to be a long day for us. And so I, we're, we're, we're trying, we're like trying, I got, I got my one buddy. He's like, he's like scooting. He's like doing this right here, like scooting the thing, uh, across the ground. I got, and I got another guy. He's like, kind of just like doing a little hop thing, like side, like perpendicular. And then, uh, me, I'm just like for one, like I take the, the locked in boot and I step and then, and then I, I, pick up the snowboard with my other boot and I'm like throwing it like I'm just like trying to like walk with the snowboard and I knew that this wasn't none of us were right and uh and then getting on the ski lift man was uh terrifying I thought I was gonna miss it and uh we finally get up we're we're when we're climbing and uh me and my my one buddy here he we're shitting we're so scared and uh, I had two other buddies up in the in the lift in front of us, and uh, we're like, "Why, why aren't they nervous? You know, they seem cool, calm, and collected. Like they are. We missing something? Because I'm at this point, I'm I'm genuinely concerned for safety." Okay, I'm not trying to be funny here. I'm genuinely, I was, I was genuinely concerned for our well-being as a group. And, uh, and I knew it was going to be an issue already. But then I got confirmation that it was going to be an issue when my two buddies up in front got to the top of the the mountain, got to the end of the ski lift, where you got to make a decision. This is life or death. You either get off that mountain or you swing on around and you're going back down. And they got to the top. And they go to get off. They put their snowboards on the ground. And they go, and they just immediately just wiped out. Well, it's been a good run. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We got uh, we got Jacob Ennis here. He's going to try and get off the ski lift, and he's definitely going to break his cockex. <clears throat> uh, and so I get up to the top, and I, I... You know, I made the decision before. Before I got... When I saw that, when I saw that, I made the decision. I said, okay... This is, this is it. This is how it's going to be for the rest of the day. No matter what, I'm not getting off of this ski lift uh, successfully. And, uh, and wouldn't you know, so, so I made the executive decision. I was just going to commit to the fall. I was just going to let myself fall. The only thing I was going to be worried about was just not getting clacked in the back of the head by the ski lift, decapitated, if you will. And, um, so I literally, I just hit, I get to the top and I just fall and then I'm just like scooting myself. I just scoot myself off to the side and wouldn't, you know, the asshole comes up behind me, uh, on that was in the ski lift behind me. I don't know him. And he's on skis and he just, uh, he just puts his skis on the ground and he just, and just rides right by me. (laughs) Doesn't even check on me. The jerk. Um, and I said, okay, well, this is going to be tough. And so we're up there on the top of the mountain. And when you're on that top of the mountain, there's only, uh, there's only one way there's, you, you have only one options and, um, that's, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get down that hill. And uh, so we strap on the second boot. So now you can't move. And uh, off we went. And, uh, and, and you know, we're, we're sliding down the hill. We're falling. We're falling. I'm like, I fall. I boom, land on my, I take the breath out of me. I, the, the, I'm, I hit the ground face first. I save my buddy. Like the whole day, man. Just this. The whole day was just absolutely chalked from the start. I save my buddy. He's going. He's gonna go off of the off of the cocaine, and 
he's fallen onto the rocks. You fall onto the rocks, it's like lava, you're dead. And uh, he he falls right behind me. I almost, I got to pull him out. So I got to like, I because I happened, I happened, knocked out, because I couldn't control it. I happened to fall near him. So I'm literally, I crawl to him, grab him, pull him up off the mountain. I save his life. And he thanks me for it. And then he tries sliding down. I, uh, uh, I was sliding and I, and you know, I think I got the hang of it. I think I got the hang of it. And then I don't have the hang of it. And then, uh, I fall and my, my buddy who I just saved off the mountain, he's there and I'm, we're timber. It's going down, baby. Yelling timber. And I have to hit the deck and I the most athletic thing that I did on that trip was I hit the deck I grabbed my board hooked to my feet and I tucked and rolled baby and I avoided his head by this much and uh I would have cut his head off you know it to be true. And uh, I didn't even make it down the mountain. I'll be honest with you. I took the boots off. I said, fuck this. And uh, I carried my snowboard right down the hill. Made about halfway down. I said, I'm tired of falling. I'm tired of this. This sucks. And that was my ski trip. That was my snowboard trip with the boys. Um... That was, it, it was an eventful, that probably, that whole scenario right there that I just told you about took an hour to, to get halfway down the hill. I promise you, uh, it was not a uh, fast process. It was a, a measure of endurance and, uh, patience and your boy ran thin. So I'm here to be humbled um, by you guys today. I didn't make it down that hill. Fuck that hill. Fuck that hill. <laughs> Fuck the mic. So uh, anyway. Yeah, and there was a guy actually on that trip. So then I, I had said, fuck everything. And so I was just standing there like a creeper. I'd turned in my snowboard whatever dude i'm just hanging out hanging out with the bros you know and uh so i'm but i was i happened to find myself um next to a family a young family and um and uh the the mom and dad are they're talking to the it's a it's a little boy and a little girl and uh and they're talking to to the kids and like uh you know i think the little boy was being a little bitch and uh he was getting down on himself a little bit and and his mom was like trying to you know be a mom to him and tell him to basically like suck it up and and uh, he was okay and um and they told this they told the little boy and the girl and the little girl's like chilling she's sitting on she's sitting on a rock and i'm standing here i'm drinking a coke drinking a coca-cola Probably, I'm I'm from me to you. I'm from me to you to that guy, to this family. Me to you, right now. I could have talked to him. We could have had a conversation. I was listening. I was eavesdropping. And uh, the, the girl's chilling on a rock, playing on the phone. The little boy's pouting a little bit, but he's chilling. He's all right. And uh, the mom looks in at the kids and says all right me and dad are gonna go take a turn now you guys stay here they left their kids on the rock while they were gonna go on the ski lift up the mountain that i just told you goes to las vegas and take a turn down it took me an hour to get halfway down the mountain and they're just gonna leave their kids it's I'm standing right here, just eavesdropping.
I tell you what, man, I absolutely would, there's no way, there's no way that, uh, that I would leave, that I would leave my children right there. Um, but they were like, you know, who's, hey man, if somebody takes you, bro, you're just a pouting little bitch right now, they'll hate it. So, uh, cause you'll just start bitching to them about how you suck at skiing, dude. And you're like eight. And, uh, meanwhile, this grown ass man next to you, uh, didn't even make it down the hill. Didn't even make it down the mountain. He made it halfway down the mountain and said, this is for the birds, the tweety, tweety birds, the tweety birds. I'm a big bird, bro. Big bird. Sesame Street, boy. Um, so he left the, left the kids, but the, the crazy thing is, uh, the dad who is still shitty for leaving the kids get a, got a, a, a few points back with me. Um, because I swear to God, I promise you that dad took a picture of me. He took a picture of me. He, so he's standing there. And he goes and he's about to walk up the mountain and he goes, hey, buddy. Hey, and he whispers to, he whispers something, right? Just real sweet to his son. Like, hey, I love you. And you're a little bitch for not going uh, down the, the mountain in the skis. And, uh, yeah. And you're adopted. And uh, so he he whispered something to, to the, to his buddy. He goes, Hey buddy. And he goes, whispers something and he goes, and you have my number in your phone, right? And he holds his phone up like this. He goes, you got your, you got my number in your phone, right? And then he walked away and he went up the mountain. I never moved just because I'm just, stood strong. I knew the guy, I knew the dad was creeped out by me, um, standing so close to the family, not doing anything, um, except drinking a Coca-Cola. Um, but I, I stood my ground. I said, I'm a grown man and I'm, I'm definitely not doing anything, uh, you know, suspect. Uh, I definitely don't give a shit about your little bitch boy kids. Um, but I thought to myself, I was like, dude, that's a crazy smart play by a parent. Like just to, uh, he, I like, I know for a fact, I know who, who held, holds the phone up like this. It was weird. I know for a fact that he took a picture of me because if his parent, if his kids ended up missing, he would have uh, 1000% blamed me. So it's a blessing and a curse because I'm glad that his kids didn't end up missing because if his kids didn't end up missing, I would be in jail right now. I wouldn't be doing this um, show because he definitely would have thought it was me. And, uh, you know, that's pretty crazy looking back at it. But um, anyway, yeah. So, you know what? <sighs> Listen, that's the ski trip. That was a ski trip, and um, that's that's what happened. It was a great time. Uh, s- snowboarding uh, was was fucking terrible, but uh, I would go back again, and I want to try skis, man. I've heard skis are a lot easier, and my other two buddies they ditched the uh, the snowboards as well, and they got skis, and they were able to do it. The only reason I I didn't do it is because I was feeling sick. Um, I was feeling sick and I, I was being a little bitch boy also not going to lie to you. And, um, and so I didn't do it looking back. I wish I had done it, but you know, can't, can't take it back. Can't take it back. All we can do is move forward. Baby, we progress. And, uh, but I'm definitely going to go back. I'm going to definitely going to ski. And, uh, yeah, it was all in all. It's a good time. Always a good time with the boys, with the fellas, the fellas, you know? But, um, anyway, I don't know. I, I guess, uh, I guess that, you know, we're at 40 minutes. Not bad for a first episode. I feel like I told like one story, but, um, we'll get better with it. Hopefully, hopefully it'll, you know, look, this is first episode. So I'm getting me feet wet. 
I'm getting me feet wet on Snow Mountain, fellas. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. So just hang out with me. And uh, I promise it'll get better. And uh, if it doesn't, then um, fuck it. Don't watch it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, follow follow me on Instagram. Uh, the Everyday Show Pod Instagram at the Everyday Show Pod. If you're watching it on YouTube, you can. Uh, I'll pop that thing up right here um, and, and follow me there. I'm gonna hopefully be you know doing a little. It's a new. It's a new account, but I'm gonna try and get it started. All of this is new. Everything's from scratch here. Um, homegrown baby, and uh, follow me there. And um, if you are watching on on YouTube, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. You know, you guys know the deal. And uh, I I hope to be doing weekly weekly episodes for you guys, but I don't know. Uh, and then maybe down the road start a Patreon or something like that. I gotta get my feet wet. I gotta I gotta start working with this a little bit. I gotta get more comfortable with it. So uh, I hope you guys. Um, enjoyed the show let me know if you do like the show and you want to see more of it uh give me feedback on how i'm doing uh give me feedback uh about what you want to see more of what you want to see less of uh if you have any ideas about uh what you want to hear uh on the show or whatever you can dm me on instagram at the everyday show pod okay um all right thanks guys for watching Till next time.